spring training, we always talk about being resilient. And the best way to be resilient is to be positive. And, you know, to not give up and come back as much as we did, you have to be resilient. You have to be able to bounce back. And each time you do it, when it's late in the game, your confidence grows to pull it out. And I couldn't be, I've been prouder of these guys because we were, what, six and a half games back in August. And a lot of teams would have counted themselves out. But these guys, they never counted themselves out. They never gave up. They never gave in. And each game, somebody different would come through with a game changing uh, contribution. Now, where, now where does uh, uh, resilience come from? Again, it, it comes from, I think, being positive. But it also comes from you know, not, not taking uh, yourself so seriously. You know, you take the game serious, but you know, you, it, it's not life or death. It's not like climbing Mount Everest. And if you define yourself by the game, or if your sense of uh, significance is determined about how you perform, you're dead in our game. Because there's so many ups and downs. If a player makes a mistake, I want them to learn from it. I want them to, to move on, focus forward, focus on the next, next pitch, the next at bat, the next one. Because we, we want them in the here and now. And if they're thinking about that run that they gave up three innings ago, they're not in the here and now. They can't help us. And I'm convinced teams that are there at the end are the teams who are the most positive because that expands their capacity to, to bounce back, to, to be resilient. Again, resilience, it just comes from being optimistic. You know, if a guy has made four great plays, he's made an error. What's he going to focus on? You know, the four great plays or, or the one error? You know, what's, what's going to uh, define him? And how he chooses to do that is going to determine what kind of player he is. So my best advice to all you coaches, you know, when, when you see somebody dwelling on the negative or they're having a hard time, help them out of it. Shake them out of it if you have to. I told my team last year, we were the most re resilient team in baseball. There's, there's no reason why we can't be this year. Let's do it. So, yeah, that's